everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kunal. Today we're gonna to be cooking patiala chicken. What is patiala chicken? One of the famous dishes of Punjab. So distinctive about it is that it's made with cashews. Yep, you heard right, cashew nut paste. So what the cashew nut paste does is it makes it thicker in consistency and it gives it that nice nutty taste. We're gonna get started shortly. Have a look at the recipe. If you do like it, just remember to hit a like, subscribe to our channel, and share with everyone. Thanks for watching. We're gonna get started with the recipe. So the first thing involves getting your chicken breast, 300 grams, add some yogurt, some freshly ground ginger and garlic, or ginger garlic paste, plus turmeric, freshly ground black pepper, salt, and red chili. Mix it all up, and what you're gonna do is mix it nicely and keep it aside to use later on, or you can refrigerate for a while. In this stage, what we're gonna do is make the main masala mix. So in a nice pot, warm up some butter, some oil, add a cinnamon stick, cardamom peppers, and some cloves. While those get heated, add some cumin powder, mix it up nicely, add a bit more oil if you have to, and you're gonna add some uh, garlic and ginger paste, just freshly cut. You're gonna add half an onion, or well, a whole onion will do, that's better. Saute it up nicely. If you like your curry hot like me, it's the time to add some chili peppers. Just chop some up and whack them in there. Uh, the next step is to add some turmeric and some coriander powder and add one tomato. Chopped up, obviously. Mix it up nicely. In the next step, you just add some water to the mixture, mix it up, and let it simmer on medium to low fire. Uh, this what it does, obviously, is make sure that the ingredients are cooked and you're making a good amount of it. Once the mixture is more or less ready, as you can see, it's the time to divide. So you take half of it out and you save it for later use. And in the half that you have, you add the marinated chicken. You're going to cook the chicken nice and slowly and just make sure that it's fully cooked properly. While your chicken is being made, we can prep some things. These are fresh fenugreek leaves. We've just chopped up approximately one cup, added some salt to it. We we'll leave it for around 20 minutes like that, and later on we rinse it out so it takes out all the bitterness of it. We will also prepare the cashew nut paste. For that, in a blender, add some cashew, non-salted, add some water, mix it up, and you're going to get a yogurt kind of consistency, something like this. When our chicken's made, you can set it aside on a different plate. We're going to use the same pan, add some oil into it, and that is a tablespoon of cumin powder. Warm it up. And then we add a tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, or freshly cut as you see. Following that, we're gonna add the fenugreek leaves. We've washed, rinsed, and drained them. Then we're gonna add some red onions, in these big pieces like this, and some green bell peppers, just like that. Mix it up, saute it nicely, and add some turmeric to it, chili powder, coriander powder, and a bit of more of cumin powder. And then you add the other half of the mixture that we had left over earlier. At which point you add the cashew nut paste that we made earlier. Just take out all of it. If you have to add a bit of water, add so. Mix it up nicely. Once you mix it, you see how much water is needed. Add so accordingly. Add some salt as well to taste. Mix it up nicely and add the cooked chicken that we had done earlier. Now you just stir in everything. Add some garam masala, approximately half a tablespoon. Add some chili if you want, chili peppers, chili powder, up to you. And some julienne cuts of ginger, it could be thinner as well if you wanted to. And finally, add a bit of kasturi methi on top. The cashew nut paste does a great job in making it thick, but if you do want to make it thicker or richer, you can add some cream at this stage. It's time to lower down your heat, stir it up, taste test it. If it needs salt, add so, and the chicken dish is done. Look at that beauty. It's bubbling, it's nice and thick and dense. I recommend eating it with a naan. And yeah, if you did like it, you know, give us a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.